Bonjour et bienvenue. This is La Modelise and welcome to the first episode of La Modelise Quick and Sew, where I will guide you on how to apply my sewing techniques in a quick and easy way. In this first episode of Quick and Sew, I will teach you guys my two ways of sewing a dart. But before we head to our sewing machines, let's first study what is a dart. Dart is often seen in women's wear, and it gives shaping on a garment, most particularly the bust, waist, and hip areas. So now we know what it does, let's study the anatomy of a dart. A dart consists of three major parts that we should understand before sewing them into our garments. First, the left and right dart legs. Second, the dart tip, and lastly, the punch hole. The dart legs create the shape and guide you in a straight or curvy line toward the dart tip. The legs can be modified from straight to curved darts. The dart tip is the pointed end of the dart. You'll often find the dart tips a few centimeters away from the buzz point or a few centimeters away from the hip line. The punch hole is usually positioned one centimeter above the dart tip. This notch indicates that the dart tip is near. However, I personally don't rely much on the punch hole. Now let's proceed to the first technique and I personally think this is the easiest technique. First, trace and transfer or draw the dart on your fabric. And make it sure to draw in the half of the dart like this one. Next, fold the dart in half. And slightly create a crease by finger pressing. Next, get a pin and pin at the dart tip first, eventually pinning at the dart legs. And make it sure that the dart leg at the back is pinned identically. And pin the rest of the dart legs vertically. And now it is time to sew the dart. First, remove the pin and start sewing directly on the dart legs. Make few back tacks to secure and continue stitching the dart legs until the dart tip. And make few back tacks at the dart tip to secure the dart. And here is the result of the first technique. As you can see, each dart leg had been sewn identically and the dart looks neat. Now let's move on to the second and bespoke technique of sewing a dart. First, trace, transfer, or draw the dart on your fabric. and make few identical marks on each dart leg in about one centimeter away from each mark. Next, prepare a needle and a contrasting thread and start the base stitch at the dart opening from the right leg and stitch across to the left leg. And this is how it will look like at the front side of the fabric. Next, on the same leg, base stitch at the first mark. And stitch across to the first mark of the right leg. Next, on the same leg, base stitch at the second mark. And stitch across to the second mark of the left leg. So basically, this is how we should base stitch our dart legs until we reach the dart point or the dart tip. And this is how the front side should look like. Next, let's pull the thread to close the dart. And now that the dart is closed, we can now sew the dart legs in place. Do not forget to make few back tacks at the beginning of your stitch line. 
and continue on sewing the dart legs until the dart tip and make few back tacks at the dart tip. And lastly, pull the basting stitches that we did earlier. And this is the result of the second technique. And as you can see, both dart legs are sewn neatly. This technique ensures that I sew the dart legs accurately and it prevents the fabric from moving or shifting. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick and sew episode and I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. Apiento!